There were five submissions today. Some, like the Equestrian Federation, had no issues with Saskok. However, others, like Muritambi Ravele, who sat in Saskok meetings representing boxing and then tennis, felt there are too many inconsistencies, including an air of hostility where federations were too afraid to voice concerns to the board for fear of intimidation. And that's the reason why I took time myself to put up my, my thinking down and coming to present here. And I would expect other federations to do the same. Another administrator, James Evans, who had his run-ins with the then CEO, Tubby Reddy, outlined five years of grief involved in athletics. Evans believes interference in athletics has subsided, and that is why our athletes are thriving, although he fears it could be coming back. My own honest opinion as to why the athletes are doing well, we've got damn good athletes in this country, we've got damn good coaches, and to a large extent the National Federation is too weak to actually interfere directly with them. I think that's changing. The Committee of Inquiry is set to hear from Paralympian and Saskok board member Natalie Dutoy on Wednesday, and then Zola Majavu and Samram Sami on Thursday. Simon Burke, SABC News, Johannesburg.